And just as Walt Disney said, never forget, this all started with a mouse. It was actually a bat. Oh, you're not talking about coronavirus. Mickey bat? <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. You did some corn. And you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you so much. Follow us on the camera. You follow us on the medication corn. Follow us on our personal YouTube channels. Links right down there. Yeah! And, um, today. What are we doing, Corbin? I'm so beside myself with expectation. I think we're reacting to a song. Rah! By Dino James. Rah! I think we've done one of his before. Rah! I'm not sure if it ever got released. <sighs> um, you guys can let us know. It might be on Patreon, who knows. But this is a new one. It actually just came out July 27th. Yeah. Uh, it's called Mirage. <gasps> I can't tell if what I'm seeing is actually the video. <laughs> I don't know what it's about. But we'll find out by watching the video. Yep. And we, then that's how it works. And then we'll talk about it. Is it Dino or Dino? Yes. Okay. Jimmy Enterprises. Yeah, you think that's gonna be the metronome for the song? So now I'm gonna decide to go. You must go. Why wait? If you don't understand this, how many people love you so much? If you don't see that you're standing there, what will you do? You're not going to do it. Speed, you commit suicide. He's the one that had the dog video. subject matter that was fun about.
Powerful a really song. nice, powerful song. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's his story, because uh, we know the, the. I believe the last one we saw of him was the uh, the dog one, where it was about his dog, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so I'm wondering if he just likes telling his stories. Yeah, got it. If, if he struggled with uh, taking his own life, uh, and this is his story, um, and it's uh, it's a tough thing to sing about, obviously, because it's a uh, deals with mental illness and. So sometimes, obviously, you can, like, people that don't understand mental illness um, think that, and I, I thought it for a while when I was younger, because that's what I, I was told by people that didn't also understand it, is that, that people are just being selfish. When they're, right. And they're taking their own life. They're being selfish. They're not thinking about other people when they, when <laughs> you're, you're thinking about yourself right now, <laughs> okay, because you're thinking about your relationship. And obviously, that, that matters, but... It's this person who needs the help right now. Mm -hmm. And it's something that he can or she cannot control mm -hmm. that they're going through in their own mind. <laughs> and it's, it's something that's it's hard to understand if you've never gone through that. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have that, my, I have multiple family members who suffer from depression and mental illness. And it's their, their own meds and, and everything like that to keep them so they don't have the... It's, and it's not something I've ever struggled with right. like in terms of... the legit depression. When I was a teenager, I thought I had depression, you know, as teenagers do. Right. My life is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stupid stuff like that. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough issue. And I'm, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm wondering if this, he's an artist that, that likes to talk about these things. Well, I remember when we watched the one about the dog, I think I said in that reaction that that's a true artist because he's just singing raw from where he is in the moment. Mm -hmm. And I expect that's exactly what happened here. I mean, clearly the whole imagery of him talking to himself throughout the whole thing. I thought that was really cool the way that was directed. You know, him in the back seat, him on the street, mm -hmm. and, and, and also the larger, um, not larger, but an equally large topic that's in there, which is the disillusionment that happens when you make success your messiah, yeah. and then discover You're it's- not happy anymore. Yeah, it's not that at all. That the one line in there is that, you know, you had five rupees in your pocket, now you're earning in lakhs, and you're still stressed out. In fact, you're probably getting even more stresses now mm -hmm. uh, because you looked for that to be your salvation and it actually compounded the stuff you were dealing with. And the other thing that I was listening to and I'm really, on a slower rap, it's easier to do. Like this one, can't wait till we can speak Hindi because I was looking at the words and I was listening to the phonetics. And so many things he said in there, like there was the word water and thirst. Those don't rhyme in English. Mm -hmm. They do in his rap. Mm -hmm. And the word mirage, there, there was that, like most rhymes, when we listen to a rap with a rhyme in English, we can hear and be impressed by the fact that the ah sound sounds like the ah sound in the words from the different sentences. We get meanings in the translations. But I could hear his skill with the rhymes, which was just beautiful because yeah. it was a little bit slower so all in all just this is for me what rap is all about and what artistry is about he seems to be talking from a very real place mm -hmm. about very real things <clears throat> and being really honest about it real being really being real. really real also like when he said fuck uh, <laughs> <laughs> i'm a fan i'm a fan of, of the word <sighs> is that it you're gonna leave us on that note no He's great. Okay. Leland's a fan. Have you taught him how to say that yet? Oh, yeah. Awesome. But in Hindi. In Hindi? Yeah. I'm really praying his first word is Maracho. <laughs> it already was. <laughs> Dina,